Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. So this is multiple integrals fourth lesson. So we continue with the discussion. So you can write one question. Evaluate the double integral over r y dy dx and r is defined to be the region bounded by the parabolas y square is equal to 4x and x square is equal to 4y. So we discussed these kinds of problem in the last video. So whenever you are given two curves and you're, they ask you the area between the curves, the first thing to do is find a point of intersection or find the points of intersection. Anyway, that's very easy. From the first equation, we have y square equal to 4x and I'm planning to eliminate uh, y. So I'm going to find the y value from the second equation. Now I'll plug this y value. y is x square by 4. I'll put it over here. So I get x square by 4. The whole square is equal to 4x. That is x to the power 4 by 16 is equal to 4x. That is x to the power 4 uh, is equal to 16 into 4 will be 64. Uh, and that is actually 4 into 4 into 4 x. Now I take all these things to the left hand side. So we get x into x cube minus 4 cube equal to 0. That is x equal to 0 or x is equal to 4. I skipped one step but you can understand. Now I define the corresponding y value so that I get the coordinate. So I will again plug it back here. If x equal to 0 then we get y is equal to 0 square by 4 and that will be 0 and the coordinate is 0 0. If x is equal to 4 y is equal to 4 square by 4 and that is 4. So the coordinate is 4 4. So we have two intersection points origin and 4 comma 4. Now we are ready for the picture and in the last video we learned that y square is equal to 4x. Look at the degree. The degree of y is 2 and the degree of x is 1. So this represents a parabola and the parabola will be symmetric about the x-axis. So let's say something like this. The other parabola, it will be symmetric about the y-axis. So that is x square equal to 4y. Now the point of intersection we just found, 4 comma 4. So I can mark this point to be x equal to 4 and this is the origin. I think you can find the uh, region of integration. You can see the region of integration. So as I told you before, you can draw the strip anywhere, you can draw the strip anywhere. But wherever you draw, you check the projection on the x-axis. For example, this is the projection. For example, this is the projection. So it's obvious that our strip moves from x equal to 0 to 4. And y varies from, uh, I'll write like this, blue parabola to red parabola. That means I have to find the y value from the blue parabola first. And the blue parabola tells me y value is x square by 4. So y varies from x square by 4 to now I will find the y value from the red parabola and the red parabola tells me it is root under 4x or 2 root x. That is it. Now finding limit is really easy. So the integral becomes double integral. The constant limit will be the outside limit. The limit with variables will be inner limit and I want you to understand one more thing. Whenever we draw a vertical strip, whenever we draw a vertical strip, uh, y will have variable limits. Okay, and 
the function is y we have to write dy dx and as always let us color it. Now, look at this y means y to the power 1. So, we are going to get integral x equal to 0 to 4 y square by 2 within the limits y equal to x square by 4 to 2 root x. Now, this 1 by 2 I am going to send it outside. So, I am going to put 1 by 2 here and now I am going to plug in I will circle it for you here. Okay. So, it is obvious that when you plug in 2 root x and square it uh, you are going to get 4 x minus when you square this you are going to get x power 4 by 16 and with respect to x and that will be 1 by 2 into integral of x is x to the power 2 by 2 minus 1 by 16 x power 5 be 4 becomes x power 5 by 5 again we will circle x and we write 1 by 2 into cut cut 2 plug in upper limit minus 1 by 80 plug in the lower limit okay and on simplification you will get 48 by 5 check it okay now time for another question so please write the question evaluate double integral over r x into y dx dy and the region r is given by the circle above the x axis. So, I hope you remember x square plus y square equal to a square represents a circle and whenever you mention circle you should remember the center and the radius. So, you have to remember this equation from your class 11. So, this represents a circle and the center is 0 comma 0 and the radius is A. So, we have a circle with center origin and radius A and it is clearly mentioned above the x axis. So, the first thing I am going to do is I am going to erase the part below the x-axis. Okay, now it is clear that this is minus a or rather x is equal to minus a and here we have x is equal to a and my favorite strip the vertical strip. Now, look at this just imagine the strip starts moving from this point to this point and those who want to understand the proper logic of strip I will strongly recommend start from lesson number 1. It may take 10 or 20 minutes, but if you watch lesson number 1, you will understand this logic very clearly, how to find the limits. Okay. Anyway, it is obvious x is from minus a to a and y varies from what you call 0 to the circle. So, 0 to circle or in other words, it varies from x axis to circle and circle means you have to find the y value from the circle. So, we have y square equal to a square minus x square and y is equal to plus or minus root under a square minus x square and it is above the x axis. So, the y values are always positive. So, I am going for the positive value okay, that is it. Now, we are ready for integration. So, I am going to write i is equal to first the constant limit and then the variable limit. It should be dy dx because the inner limit contains the variable y. And this means x is a constant for the time being, for the time being. So, we get x is equal to minus a to a. I keep that x over here 
and integrate y. y means y power 1, so we will get y to the power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1. Within the limits 0 to, we have 1 by 2 here, we can keep it outside. Now it is time to plug in the limits, we have to plug in the upper limit that is root under a square minus x square minus plug in the lower limit we will get 0. Now that will be 1 by 2 x equal to minus a to a a square x minus x cube and the first semester properties tells me the answer is can you guess the answer will be equal to 0 because this is an odd function an odd function and the limits are from minus a to a and that means the answer will be equal to 0 or if you do not remember the properties you can integrate uh, alternatively you can do like this you can keep a square x square by 2 minus x to the 4 power 4 by 4 and plug in minus a and a and when you plug in the upper limit or lower limit you are going to get the same thing so it cancels and it will become 0. Now I will show you one thing uh, especially for the students who love to learn the logic why it became 0. Always remember integration is addition. There is a misconception integration is area. No. If you want you can manipulate integration and make it area. But always remember integration stands for addition, summation. Now look at what sort of things are we adding. We are actually multiplying the x coordinate and y coordinate and adding them up. And the region of integration we chose is a symmetric thing. And we chose it from minus a to a above the x axis. Now look, look at this. For example, there is a coordinate uh, let us say 2 comma 1. The product will be 2 into 1. Similarly, there will be a coordinate minus 2 comma 1 here. And that will give a product minus 2 into 1 because we are multiplying x and y in this integration. Now th think about it. If you add what will happen? So corresponding to every positive x into y, there will be a negative x into y. And that is why you got the summation 0. Anyway, that is just the logical part. Uh, now let us move on to the next question. <coughs> Now let us move on to the next question, but before we start the next question, uh, I want to talk about the double intercept form. So look at this, if you ever get x by a plus y by b is equal to 1, the first thing that you have to notice is the degree of x and degree of x are equal to 1, that means it is a line. And this line has a speciality, it cuts the x axis at a comma 0 and the y axis at 0 comma b and that is why it is called double intercept form. So it cuts the x axis at a comma 0 and b comma 0 and given two points we can draw a line, a unique line. Now the next question is evaluate the double integral x square plus y square dx dy. I hope you are working along with me. Uh, do not watch this uh, as if you are watching a movie. Please make sure you work out the problem along with me. Okay, And r is defined to be bounded by the lines x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and x plus y is equal to 1. I hope you recognize this line. This is our y axis and this is the x axis and this is a line. Okay, Now to draw the third one, it is very easy, x plus y is equal to 1. What I am going to do is I am going to plug in some 1 here which will not affect the equation. Well, that is it. So we have the y axis, the x axis and this is a line which is going to cut the x axis at 1 0 and the y axis at 1 0 and we are ready. So this is the region of integration and I will write the name and this point 1 comma 0, 0 comma 0, 
and I draw the vertical strip. You can do uh, you can do the same problem using horizontal strip. Anyway, I choose the vertical strip. So clearly, clearly, we have done so many problems. So x varies from zero to one, and y varies from um, x-axis. X-axis means y equal to zero to the line. To the line means you can you can check it. Look. If you have a strip here, x axis to line. If you have a strip here, x axis to line. If you have a strip here, x axis to line. And line means the y value will be 1 minus x. Yeah, the limits are ready. Now we are ready for integration. So i is equal to integral, the constant limit, and the variable limit. And this function looks a little bit tough. But no worries, we can give it a try. And as always, I'm going to color it. Now look at this. We are going to integrate with respect to y. So x will be a constant. Now look at this. Integral dy is equal to y. Integral 5 into dy will be 5 times y. Because we throw the constant outside. Or more politely, we keep the constant outside. And integral dy will be y. Of course, plus c. Now, when we perform multiple integrals with respect to y, x will be a constant. So, if x is a constant, x square will be a constant. So, this gives me x square into y. Okay, so keeping that part in mind, I am going to integrate x square into y plus y to the power 3 by 3 within the limits y equal to 0 to 1 minus x dx and that will be integral x equal to 0 to 1 you plug in the upper limit you plug in the upper limit i will circle the plug in variables yeah so we get x square into 1 minus x plus 1 minus x the whole cube by 3 Minus, when you plug in the lower limit, you can see x square into 0 will be 0 and 0 cube will be 0, of course. So that's it. Now, is equal to integral x equal to 0 to 1. Let's distribute this x square minus x cube plus 1 by 3 into 1 minus x the whole cube. Look at this. Integral x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Of course, dx is here. But if you have integral, let's say, ax plus b, the whole power n, then it will be ax plus b, the whole power, n plus 1 by n plus 1, multiplied by the reciprocal of the coefficient of x. Okay, I'll make you understand in a minute. So, we get the integral to be x to the power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 minus x to the power 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 plus 1 by 3. Now wait. We get 1 minus x the whole to the power 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 multiplied by 1 by the coefficient of x. And the whole thing takes place within 0 to 1. So I am going to put it like 0 to 1, 0 to 1 and 0 to 1. Now time to plug in upper limit and lower limit and you can try it. The final answer will be 1 by 6. So that's it. So I'll be back with more questions very soon. So till then, bye.